Thank you for clicking on the video and I hope everyone is doing really well. So if you've read the title, you know exactly what I'm eating today. I saw this years ago. It was like trendy way back when and of course my fear held me back from trying this and it is the mac and cheese pizza. I'm sure it's still a thing somewhere. This combines two major fear foods for myself as well as I'm sure for others. It was trending I don't even know how many years ago. I thought it looked so good and then my sister was like, you want to make mac and cheese pizza? And of course I hesitated, but of course I was like, yeah, sure, and never did because ooh, mac and cheese and pizza together kill me now. I decided I think two or three weeks ago, I'm like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to finally do it. It's not just about facing multiple fear foods, it's multiple fear foods combined in one thing and I think that is makes things just 10 times more scary. Pre-made pizza, pre-made box mac and cheese. So now we've got that fear of processed food. I'm just gonna dive in. I'm gonna eat it. Disclaimer, I am not recommending that you sit down with a massive amount of your fear foods and just you know, binge away. That is not what I'm saying. What these videos are about is one, facing your fear food, and two, if you were to eat it all at once, realizing that there's no reason to be embarrassed, ashamed, feel guilty, you're gonna be okay, you're fine, don't worry about it. I'm gonna do the outro now because I always seem to forget to do it at the end. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I mean, I am about to eat a huge, massive amount of mac and cheese and pizza. So give it a like, please. If you absolutely hate this video, you can give it a thumbs down. That is cool too, I don't mind. If you are not subscribed already, maybe consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to stay notified of all future uploads. If you have any comments, questions, video suggestions, anything at all, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because not only do I post every single day of what I am eating, my full day of eating every single day, but I also post before and after pictures from these challenge days to really emphasize the point that eating like this is not going to make you fat, okay? It's not gonna make you wake up the next morning and be 200 pounds overweight. That's not how it works, that's not how science works, and that's not how our bodies work. I will see you next time after I demolish this pizza. I'm being so confident and we all know what happened last time. I was, I was so confident when I tried to eat those nachos. I did eat them, it just took me most of the day. Fun little fact, yesterday I had pizza because I always eat pizza on Sundays and now I'm gonna eat pizza again, which just adds to the fear because eating pizza two days in a row, mm, that sparks the old, you're bad for eating pizza twice. I could eat pizza every single day. Maybe I will eat pizza every single day for a week and prove to myself that it's not the end of the world if you eat pizza every single day. Add that to my list of things I want to try. <sighs> Let's do this.
Look at that. Oh my God, it's steaming. It's so hot. It's mac and cheese and pizza. I mean, how can you be mad at this? This, oh my gosh. It may be another one of those videos. I don't wanna like overdo it and make myself feel sick and in pain. So I might have to come back, let it get cold, ew. I like cold pizza, but cold mac and cheese on cold pizza? I don't know how I feel about that. One more slice, maybe? slice and of course it is the probably the biggest one so here we go Go eat your fear foods. That's all I gotta say. I'll see you next time. Bye.